Yo, what up? It's your boy Big Bick, and I am back with another video. Shout out to the sponsor by Pokemon. I mean, by the Pokemon Go accounts, whatever you need right here, PokeGoMart.com. The PokeGoMart.com gems, ready accounts, starter accounts, shiny accounts, 25, 28, 30, 33, 27, 40. Well, normally have some 40s on here, but I'm gonna hop right on into it today. Man, I saw the. Give me, let me, give me real, real quick. Give me one second. I saw the Rotten Tomato numbers for Venom right now, and they do not look good. But you know what? That ain't gonna stop me from seeing it because I love comic book movies. I love comic books in general. Anyway, off that. So, with that being said, today's video the giveaway where is going to be Halloween because Halloween dropped next Friday. I'm gonna catch that too. But anyway, so today's video. Is on, on the updating spoofing tutorial because a lot of things have changed. Some big changes have happened with the Google Play Store recently and um, the way people spoof. So, I want to update things for new for new people coming through and obviously, you know, the old. So, hope y'all bear with me with this. First things first, check me out on Twitter at BigVic5BN. Same as my username on YouTube. And we're going to hop right on into it. All right. So, if you're looking to spoof, first thing we're going to do right away is we're going to download FGL Pro. Now, this is the APK, okay? And this is where I come to you to get the get the app itself, whatever version you need. Now, right now, since the app just updated, I'm going to say as of yesterday. Yesterday was technically on the Google Play Store, but they put it here as of today. Uh, it... it it lists changes, but the changes look the same as the last update, and then they updated the privacy policies. I wouldn't, wouldn't bother going ahead and getting the latest version just yet. I'm going to go ahead and test some things out before y'all go ahead and get that and throw yourselves to the wolves. Because it was, technically it was removed from the Google Play Store, and they said the update put it back on there. That's kind of fishy to me. I'm not saying it's nothing wrong, but I'm just saying you just want to go ahead and give it a while before you people, you know, you see what's going on. So I'm going to say go ahead and get the, the version to the top right and roll with that for now. After you get that installed on your phone, normally what you can do, depending on your play services, normally what you do here, first thing you're going to do is go ahead and get the play services pulled up so you know what your play services are. So what you're going to do, first things first, I'm going to have you do, you're going to go to device admin on your phone, right? Device admin apps under your settings. You might have find my device, find my mobile, or Google Pay. Click that like that. Mine's already deactivated, so I don't have to activate, but you just deactivate those things, okay? That's more or less on the newer devices anyway, but it applies all, all the way across. Next thing you know, you go back to apps. What you're going to do, Google Play Services, okay? Google Play Services. Bam, hit Google Play Services. What you do, scroll down to the bottom, okay? On the bottom, it says version... Mine is 12.5.29. There's a number next to that, 040400. That is a number you want to write that. You write that number down, okay? And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So you're going to come back here later, but right now you write that number down. All right. What you do next, go to Google. You can very easily Google Google Play Services because this is a working... This is a working... APK for that as of right now for Google Play services. You click it. It's real easy. Okay. You click it, you get here, and you matched your number. The number you just wrote down or the number you just looked at. You just matched that number to the one of the numbers here. Same in the same order. The last last set of numbers don't have to match, but the first few do. So if I was looking for mine, I've already found mine right there. If I was looking for mine, but I'm not looking for mine. So you, can, it's also okay if you can't find yours. You can also do a no DPI, just in case you're wondering. Like you see here, this line right here, the zero nine zero. That's not the same. But anyway, you can do a no DPI if you can't find your exact one matching your phone. But you should be able to. So if you got a Galaxy S seven eight nine Note eight Note nine, third one up from the bottom is, is the working one you can use. If you just if you're not entirely sure, that one does work for you. Okay. I know it's changed a little bit recently, but you should be able to go ahead and get away with that. All right, with that being said, what you're going to do is come back to your phone. 
because you want to you want to download that first. Once you get that downloaded, okay, come back to your phone. Apps, my phone's already downgraded. Thank goodness, I don't have to deal with that nonsense. I haven't downgraded in almost two months now. Thank goodness, my Google Play is also deactivated. My Google Play Store is also deactivated. As you can see, my disable as you can see. So what you do now? Once you, I had you do the other steps already. You click on Google Play Services. Normally at the top right, you will see three little dots at the top right, top right of the screen up there. Top right, very blue little dots. You click those, you uninstall updates. Well, first you force force stop it. Disable then. You know, click that and uninstall the updates. You click on the storage. Click on cache. All right. Once you do that, you go over, find wherever you got your wherever you got to install that on your phone. It's not really hard. Most time you got your phone, my files, you can installation files, you can see the APK. You can very easily click on that and it'll show you. It'll show you wherever you have it downloaded at, it'll show you. You click on that, install it. And hopefully you get the install successful. If you don't, bless your heart. I'm just kidding. It should be very easy just like that. Next thing you do, you're gonna come on over to FGL Pro. Now I'm gonna confuse people too much, but you know, um, if you're looking for a clone version, you're not really worried about it. Um, you can hop over to my Discord. We do have a clone version there that um, it's been circulating. So if you just ask, just ask for it. Shout out to Christian. You can ask him what he does have here. If I'm not, if I'm not around, you should be able. To, most time I'm, I'm around, I'm just doing other, trying to do other things. So you should be able to tag me if you need me. That way, I don't even, just saying Vic. I mean, I don't always because I get a lot of messages coming through. Tag me. And I can be able to, I, I know you're looking for me and I'll respond. Anyway, so on the bottom right next to the heart, it's automatically set to driving. You want to click it to walk and you don't want it on driving. Okay. Then go to the top right. Okay. That's all. You got a little ads here, unfortunately. You can turn the ads off, you know, but I'm, I ain't really worried about that. Anyway, top right. Secure mocking is checked. There are three different mocking methods. I use mocking method one. That works for me. Mocking my, my method one might not work for you. So if you got a seven or eight, okay, typically secure mocking works for you. If you got an older device, say maybe you an run an Android five or six, okay, what you're going to do is click here, indirect ex mocking experimental is for you, okay? Also, there's auto um, run interval, the GPS L2, I'll leave mine set at 30. If you're rooted, you can click there. That way you know you're rooted. Joystick, start your joystick when the mocking starts. That button, if you start mocking, your joystick pops up automatically. I definitely want mine to pop up. I roll the circle. The arrow is kind of pain in the ass, but I roll, I run with the circle. Okay. All right. So, speed, I leave my speed normal. You can increase your speed if you want to. I won't get crazy with it because uh, you run, run across the map too fast, you will get banned. But, you know, hey, to each his own. Okay. Joystick size. Go ahead and make that big now. Next, go to game security settings. Hope I'm not going too fast. I just don't want to hold y'all up for too long of a video. You know, try to get as much as I can in here. All right, so what you're going to do is hide the app from screenshots. Okay, somebody tries to, you know, unless you want to screenshot to somebody, this is a setting that will block you from doing that or block it out. Let's just say. All right, helper banner by SoftBank Cool On Time. So, okay, if you're new to spoofing, when you spoof the one location, you get soft banned if you haven't if you were just playing somewhere else and you jump from one location to another. So, pretty much, the easy way to explain it is, before leaving one area, going to another area across the world, you should wait two hours without playing, okay, before you jump from one area to another area. So I suggest if you're gonna be getting on today and you for playing fresh and haven't played, waiting two hours is just fine. Then you can get on and go right wherever you want to go. But this banner keep you reminded every time the last time you spoofed, it'll tell you like, oh, last known mocking was this particular day. Okay, that's pretty much what it. That's pretty much what it tell you. So if you're not particular, if you're not, awesome. Let me backtrack real quick. I did miss them. If you get to your phone and, you, and you're sitting here and your phone's your Google Play services isn't downgraded, and you also need a little bit extra help doing that. Mine is already downgraded, but if it, you pop up on your phone, it says June 2018. If you come to Game Security Settings right here, you can click on Fix Google Play Services Issue, and it'll bring up the whole menu for you. My, mine doesn't because I'm already up to date. I mean, mine's already rolled back. But this will also be an additional step to help you walk you through it in case you're curious. But I've already showed you those steps without having to read all that, but if you need it, it's there. 
Okay, I strongly suggest um, whatever area you spoof in, normally you pick yourself a home for your account. I myself have my, my home set off in Cali over here, so I'm going to send myself over there. I ain't got to watch this old man talk. I'm going to hear him talking with a little stupid ads. I might just go ahead and buy this little thing to stop the ads because I, you know, can't take. I, I don't normally use this version. I use my. I normally use a clone version of Geo Pro. I have set up for myself. But real quick, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you this. So I'm while it's headed to Cali, I'm not gonna use routes, but I'm gonna show you in case you're curious on how to use routes or possibly use routes. Once it stops mocking, I can show you. All right, the very top left. If you look here, it says routes. Typically, what you do is you. This is a blue dot here where you are. Okay, you would click where you want to go. It pops up on the screen. You could click, click play. It give you auto or manual. You can do auto. Okay, what it does then is it starts walking your route. And then you open the game and he just walks on his own. Very easy. That's very easy. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up because I don't need it. I'm not planning on using it. I'm gonna go back in there. I don't know how the heck I got over there, but it is what it is. Go back to my location where I'm at. I closed the app out. It took me back over there, but give it a second there. Let it put me back where I'm supposed to be at. It's taking a little while to get there. We go. All right. I'm there. Open the game up. Cross your fingers. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm good. I you know, you know. Only one important thing, okay. If you're looking at the game, I'm gonna tell you right now, you will see a red bar across the top. It will say error eleven, error twelve. That does not mean it's not working. Okay, because a lot of people gonna low blast with comments. Oh, error, you know, people who first time split, oh error eleven, error twelve is normal. Okay, what you do, you decrease your mocking time, the auto fix interval. Okay, you decrease that time, it mocks more, but you get less red errors. Also, above the joystick, you see an X, and you see what you see, the thing in the very middle of the, above the joystick, you click that, it refreshes the signal, okay? Then it mocks over again, hence you don't have to worry about red airs popping up all over your screen. Some people don't like it, it keeps you safe. Well, obviously, you know what safe means, you protect yourself, protect your account. I know I've said that a thousand times, but hey, to my new people coming through, hopefully, you know, Y'all catch this, and uh, it works for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send a few gifts out. Yeah, you know, before I forget, I want to say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to send, send some more gifts out today. But when people know, hey, I am sending gifts out. Okay, here you go. We're looking out for them gifts. There, see, there's that GPS 11. It's, it's, it's normal. I flicked it. You can either flick the joystick very easily. All you got to do is flick the joystick. I push the button above the joystick, and what it does is automatically get rid of that i'm gonna run, do a little running because I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that it does actually work it runs me where i wanted to go the joystick does work okay i'm actually in san francisco okay, 39 right now catching another pokemon i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this puppy up i was trying to do go relatively fast without you know giving you a Without forgetting too much stuff, because I know people are like, oh man, I want to watch a long video, but hey, it's October now. I've been doing them, you know, from time to time here and there. But like I said, with the way things have changed over the game, I'm gonna try to keep it up to date. Because some people have been watching videos from back when I was doing them back in say May or June, and like this, this, this doesn't work like this. This doesn't work. But man, you watching the video? That's how many months? Oh, you gotta watch an updated video. So I try to keep it up to date with the updates and everything they throw in the game. <laughs> Okay, so I hope it works for you. Again, you see, flip that joystick, keep the air away. You don't have to worry about that red air popping up all the time. It, just, it might mock, but it is what it is. No big deal. It's your boy, Big Vic, and I am your Oh, forgot. By the way, again, again, if you're new to the channel, if you don't already know, I do, do, do account giveaways, okay? Every once in a while, um... I was doing Carnage, you know, for Venom, but I'm I'm a little disappointed with the the Rotten Tomato meter right now. It's not looking good. The reviews are all the early reaction all saying the movie's terrible. I hate it hurts my heart to hear that. I'm still gonna watch it, but it, it hurts. The word today 
for the new giveaway because I'm watching Halloween next Friday is going to be a Halloween. Okay. What what else next Friday? Oh, black the new Black Ops Four comes out right next Friday. All right. If you if you play PlayStation, add me on PSN. Black A G F. It's your boy Big Vink, and I really am out. Remember, like, comment, and do be subscribed. Okay, because I will check. I do check. If you haven't noticed my videos, I go through heart in the comments because I do be reading the comments. Even y'all writing, leaving a little negative dumb stuff. By the way, that's because I, I mentioned in a video yesterday. Fake routes and joysticks. I, I know a lot of people that got banned using that app. Okay. One of my first original accounts got banned using that app. And believe me, I know what the fuck I'm doing. So when I tell you that you can get banned, people, people haven't gotten banned and you can't get banned, just because you haven't gotten banned yet doesn't mean it does not ban people. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, I pay for the app, right? I pay for the app and I'm not using it. I think I'm going to throw my own money away? Nah, it just... Man, it stings. It's your boy Big Vic and I'm out. Spoof Nation. Spoofers assemble. <laughs>